All right, uh, I'm gonna try and make this one a quick one. So uh, ignore all the gross wiring here, but um, I remembered an old project from a long ago. I'll try and put a picture up on the screen here, but um, this is basically just a small relay, a resistor, and a capacitor. Um, so I have it into the, um, oh, what's my, I have it on a fuse tap. It's on the cluster lighting. That's the one that I use. Um, something that gets 12 volts when you power the car on has a constant 12 volts, but when you shut it off, uh, goes to zero. So, uh, 12 volt from that tap, and then I'm just grounding it to the dash here, and then the two wires into the traction control. So I have a BK1, and in my case, it's the green wire, and then this yellowish with the black stripe. Um, if you don't have wires like this, it's the second one uh, from the from the top, and then the bottom wire. Not sure if BK2s look the same, but I would have to imagine they are. Uh, but basically what this does is it simulates a, um, a button push as soon as you power the car. Um, and it'll turn the traction control off. So what I should be able to do here is uh, power the car on. And you'll see the uh, traction light is off. So it immediately is off all its time and then if I push the button you can see the button turn it back on and it turns it uh, back off again so I am if I push it off push it again back on so essentially what this does this guy here um, is it just um, simulates a button push right away uh, I believe you need a bigger capacitor for a BK2 to simulate a longer push. I haven't done much exper experimenting with uh, a bigger one, but um, yeah, so there you go. Simple, um, and now it's always off. You don't have to remember to push the button. Kind of a dumb mod, but it is what it is.